Okay, cool. So I want to actually explain digital analog to you in a matter of minutes. It is a, it literally, so just imagine digital analog as this baby over here. You can access it via web, your desktop, you can access it via your mobile phone, or you can access it via your tablet. Okay, it's going to be available for the multi screen user. So that is what digital analog is about. Now, that's basically in terms of accessibility, that's what it's about. So let's kind of remove that right now. Now, what is Digital Analog? Digital Analog is a real estate trading platform, um, and we are also launching what we call Annex Point. So just kind of, we'll look at what Annex Point is, and then we'll look at what Digital Analog is. So let's look at Digital Analog just from the base, just from the idea of what the concept is and what it's supposed to help us achieve. Now, Digital Analog is very simple. It looks at Peter, and Peter is the average guy who can't buy a 50 million house or house with a price tag of 50 million in Nigeria. But if Peter, along with hundreds of other people, come together, they could base on their affordability, that's the collective power of many, and that's why we kept to keep using the word stronger together, they can buy that house, all right? So that's the beautiful thing about that. Now check this. This is where it gets really interesting. What we are doing as a company is, rather than buying a house, let us identify where the opportunities are. Exactly where in the next five years would we have a massive rush of uh, people moving into an area because of the attraction and the opportunities that it creates. So we get a land in a particular place and we know that the opportunity there is great. We buy the land extremely cheap right now and then we now start to prepare. Now what are we going to build there? We know that you have the up and coming young aspiring Nigerians that are now securing great jobs and they, they, their demand, their needs are different obviously from probably people who are used to no electricity and living with no electricity and having electricity whenever they want. Then you have a number of Nigerians in diaspora who are coming back to the UK. So I coming back from the UK or from the United States back to Nigeria and they expect 24-7 electricity. Then you have people on holiday and stuff like that. So what we want to build is a home. So you buy loads of lands, 10 acres, 6 blocks, whatever it is. And we build a home that is built on renewable energy. So solar panels, so you have solar panels actually driving the um, energy that is in that place, which is pretty awesome. And it's luxury, it's luxury at its best. Uh, remember that we bought it cheap and it was the collective power of many that actually bought all of that, which is pretty cool. And then over time, as these guys can afford to, or as more people come on board, we obviously end up building a really amazing place. Enabling us to actually see a 500% return on our investment within three to five years. Why? Because we bought cheap, we built cheap, um, but at the same time, we put a price tag targeted at the right target audience who are happy to pay for it. So you might find us uh, spending in total maybe 500 million on it, but we end up making close to maybe 1.8 billion okay as a result of selling those out individually and as a result of um capital appreciation which is pretty awesome okay so that's the beauty of it and these guys are what you call your digital landlords now they don't necessarily have to own the whole thing they can just own one small bit here one small bit here but collectively they own it together so they digitally own it now that is digital landlord and Let's now talk about Annex Coin, which is the most important thing that, uh, the, which is basically the amazing opportunity that it creates for us in the long term. So we're going to stop this video now and come back to Annex Coin.